President Trump and the First Lady seeing firsthand the devastation in Florida. And tonight, five days since this hurricane now, there are still people authorities say they have not heard from. The president handing out water and touring some of the damage today. And look at the before and after tonight. This is Panama City, the power before, and this image from after. Thousands without power still tonight. And this evening, the story behind this help sign. It turns out a family member searching satellite images on her own, finding it, and then getting help to her family trapped. Meteorologist Rob Marciano from Panama City, Florida tonight. Rob? David, we're almost a week into this disaster, so the time was right for the president to pay a visit. And what he saw was a scope of destruction that requires a massive response. President. Tonight, President Trump and the First Lady getting their first look at the destruction from Hurricane Michael in Lynn Haven, Florida. Hard to believe. I've seen pictures, but it's hard to believe when you're above it in a plane and to see the total devastation. You see no houses left. Not even the pads are left. It's incredible. Meanwhile, in the hard hit ground zero of Mexico Beach, first responders searching all weekend for more than 40 people still unaccounted for. Officials telling us tonight there's still a few people they have yet to hear from. One woman, desperate to reach her family, was looking at NOAA's satellite photos of the storm zone when she discovered the word HELP written in giant letters on the ground outside her grandmother's home. Directing first responders there, her family is now safe tonight. What is most striking about this hurricane damage is not just the thousands of homes that are damaged, but these retail storefronts that are completely blown out, hundreds of commercial spaces damaged or completely destroyed. As Hurricane Michael made landfall, our Ginger Z was broadcasting live from Mexico Beach. And, and David, no matter where you are in the storm, I just saw something I have never seen. I saw an entire home taken off of its foundation and rolled down the street. And we're just now seeing this video shot during the hurricane. You see the condo building where Ginger was as Michael bore down. Those hurricane-proof windows, not one shattering. The building still standing thanks to its concrete and rebar construction. And tonight, one of the few homes still intact. This house had just been built to withstand 250 mile per hour winds. Surveillance cameras capturing the storm. They just didn't know a hurricane of this strength would hit so soon. Back in Panama City tonight. What does it feel like? What are you feeling right now? It could have been us, you know, and I'm just so grateful that we're able, that we have the ability to do this for someone else. We meet Stevie McGinnis and her daughter driving here from Destin, bringing home cooked food to those in need. And there was this moment, firefighters using duct tape to build a makeshift flagpole on Mexico Beach. And we stand together. And that's what that flag symbolizes. So many first responders. Rob joins us tonight from Panama City. And Rob, just an incredible scene there now, five days after Michael made landfall. You've been on the ground the entire time. We know that. And you pointed out their supplies are getting in. But actually getting those supplies to families remains the challenge tonight. Yeah, absolutely right, David. We're getting a lot of supplies to distribution points, but a lot of people still having a hard time getting to those spots. But as you saw, Good Samaritans are stepping in. And that wasn't isolated. I mean, amongst this horrible situation, we are seeing humanity at its finest. As for the recovery as a whole, that's going to take years, David. All right, Rob Marciano still on the scene for us tonight. Thank you, Rob. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.